Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kapudash, for allowing me to do another lesson to be honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect. This is Psalm chapter 35, verse 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Was the Lord righteous cause that Israel shall rule the earth? Israel, Israel shall overcome the wicked, the elect of Israel, that is. And um, the heathen are going into slavery. All right, Yahweh Shai is going to get hit, is going to have his return, and you know what I'm saying get his just uh, due. So it says, let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. All right. And this is a prayer, right? A psalm or a prayer of David. You know, which through the spirit was a few weeks back. You know, the spirit was, was hot on um, King David, how he's going to be there in the kingdom. You know, he's going to be one of the heads of our people. And um, that's how... That's what it is. And when you have understanding of the scriptures, you know, you will know that's what it is. You know, and when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When we learn about these scriptures, as scriptures say, search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. And I was watching um through the spirit, I was praying today, and I was watching. The spirit had me uh come across the, the brothers in Dallas. You know, that's how I know the Lord hears my prayers, man. You know? Cause um just feeling down in the spirit, just just whatever. But you know, uh I came across the brothers' videos and, and they were going into just the pure magnificence of King Solomon's reign. And how that's not even an inkling of what we're going to receive. You know? And these are things to keep us going. So it says, yeah, let them say continually, let Yahweh be magnified, which have pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. And how do we say that? By preparing our souls for temptation Okay, that's how we say let Yahweh be magnified by preparing our souls for temptation, by preparing ourselves to lose our life in hopes to gain it. Because as the scriptures say, we just read that the Lord have pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. All right, reminds me of the time or the prophecy, all right, of Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Shai what the word normally calls Jesus Christ is actually written of in the Old Testament. This is Psalm, uh, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 10. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of Yahweh shall prosper in his hand. Okay? So by taking yourself out of the picture, you know that um, even the elder Yatazaki, I did the lesson going into the, the scripture um, when the Lord told Satan, have thou considered my servant, you know, and the Lord is putting you in that ring knowing that he trained you, you know, and knowing that if you listen to everything he says, you're going to come out to victory. It says, therefore, Shlaki, verse 11, he shall see the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he had poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with, this, with the transgressors. And he bare the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Okay. 
So he's going to be satisfied, you know, at us as well, as we are heirs of Yahweh Shai. Right? What does Romans 8 say? That if you suffer with me, you shall also reign with me. That's what Yahweh requires. All right? Because he poured out his soul unto death, that word poured out. Meaning, uh, I, I, Ra, all right, destitute, empty, you laid it all on the line for the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You lost it all, you know. This is the book of, um, Psalms chapter 149 verse, verse uh, 4 for Yahweh will take a pleasure in his people he will beautify the meek with salvation. So that's plain and to the point. The meek means the humble, those who bow down to his will. All right? The afflicted, the poor, the needy. Okay? So, you know, we planning on, you know, this wasn't, a, we, we understand that this wasn't an extended stay for us. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Oh, okay, that was pretty much the point, though. You know? Just that the fact that the Lord... Take a pleasure in the prosperity of His. All right? If you endure chastisement, He dealeth with you as with sons. So with that, Shalom to the elect.